Hey y'all, welcome back to Seriously. If you're new to the show, welcome. Welcome. If you're not new, y'all know what everything is. <laughs> Just get comfortable. Um, you you're know. So <laughs> You are so annoying. So country. Country. All right. So, welcome to Seriously. I'm Brittany. I'm Mary. So, if you're new, this is Seriously. We are a podcast dedicated to the discussion of web series. We watch each series episode by episode and say all the things you probably were thinking while watching. So, the show that we're talking about now is Beyond Complicated. Mary, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Like Brandon. Honestly. <laughs> Why don't you tell us? Go on. Okay, guys. So Beyond Complicated is a show about the difficulties and day-to-day miscommunication that happen in a relationship. It's created by Andrea Lewis's production company called Jungle Wild Productions, and it's co-written by Karen Rose Bruning. I hope I said that right. It stars Skylar James Bailey and Antoinette Henry. Uh, Skylar plays him, and Antoinette plays her. These characters don't have, like, real names, so they just go by him and her, which is kind of interesting. The supporting cast members are Andrea Lewis, who plays Corey, Patty Muguruza, who plays Marisol, Nena Burez, who plays Sasha, and Stephen Colfield Jr., who plays Choi. So we're going to be discussing episodes one and two, so let's get to it. Yeah. Okay, so the episode starts out, all the girls are, you know, talking, trying to figure out where they're going to go tonight, where they're going to hit the town, Mm -hmm. Um, you know, a little girl's night, trying to turn up. So, Corey, she she goes straight, she gets straight to business. She's like, what's up (laughs) with that text, though? Yeah, and um, her is like, what you talking about? Right, what what, what you mean? She's like, "Uh uh-uh, what was that text about? You seemed like, you know, a lot was going on. So, um, she tells, she starts to tell the girls about her date night, how it was like the perfect date night yes. out of the day. Uh, we went dancing, mm-hmm. went on to eat. We went to this bar. Yes. Oh. oh, the perfect night, like a night out in a, from the movie. Yeah, you know? that's what it seems like. <laughs> it was perfect. So, um, so she's like, so they get back to their apartment and, you know, she's telling them how, you know, they were going at it. He was, you know, into it. And, um. You know, she started asking questions. Mm-hmm. So Chloe's like, "Oh, dirty questions, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> dirty, dirty one." She thinks she knows everything. Yeah, she's she like, like dirty I one, right? Yeah, 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 sexy one. She's like, "No, no, cute questions, cute questions." But she know she had a motive behind these yeah, questions. Yeah, like she said, like they were playing like a kissing game, mm-hmm. like whatever question she asked him if he gave her like the right answer. I guess yeah, he can get a kiss. Or something right? Like that. No, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. cute. Mm-hmm. We'll get to that. So. <laughs> So, um, she's like, yeah, so cutesy. So she started asking questions like, how happy are you? Mm -hmm. And do you like me here in New York? Do you like me? Do you see us together? And he's like half paying attention to what she's saying. Yeah, like you he's in the moment. He's he's in the moment. Like any question you ask him, the answer is going to be yes. Like whatever you want to (laughs) hear. Yes, exactly. Cause he's into it right now. So they're still like making out whatever. And so she goes, so we're going to get married then if you like me here and you see a future. And he's like, wait, what? <laughs> Shit, do you love me? He's like, the way he jumped up, he's yes. like, whoa, buddy, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, and if this is a man all of a sudden, like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I want no part of this. So she's like, "What's the problem?" So wait. So then we go back to the homegirls, and they're just trying to understand. Like, okay, um, hmm. So you asked them that, like, while you guys were, were hmm. about to get busy. Yeah. She's like, yeah. Um, <laughs> like it was just a question. Like it was not just a question, girl. <laughs> she knew that was not the right time. Right. So, Andre's like, girl, no, like, <laughs> let me understand this right here. Like, what's happening? Um, we can tell already she's like the level headed one. Yeah. Because Marisol was quiet. Yeah. And, and she was kind of agreeing. Like, yeah, she yeah, was like, yeah. yeah. Like, when it's like, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> like, these I would have done the same thing. Right. These are good questions. <laughs> so, she's like, I don't understand. Am I the only one who here that's like, this is like a no? <laughs> So, I, I, you could tell, like, Corey's that type of friend that's not going to hold her tongue. Like, right. She's going to tell you. Yeah, she's going to keep it real. Exactly. Which is good. So, um, so Marisol, she's on the side. She's like, she, she doesn't know where she's staying, but she is, she's trying to help 
her in the middle, yeah. She's neutral in, in a yeah. way. Because she understands where Andrea or Kinda. Corey, why Corey would question that. But mm-hmm. at the same time, when her explains her, like, reasoning. Yeah, she, she was, was kind of like, like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, come on. We all do it. I'll do the same thing. <laughs> so, now, um, so now we go back to the couple and they're, like, arguing. Like, you don't understand. Like, you really going to ask me that right now? Yeah. And she's like, I just need the answers. I just need my questions answered. Yeah, she wants to know, do you love me? Answer the question. It's a simple question. Then he's like, all right, um, what do you want to know? What you ask me? He killed me with that. You know what she's asking? He was like, what are you asking me? What you want to know? Because like, at this point, we don't even know how long they've been dating. Like, yeah. We don't really know anything about them. So, like, when she asked that question, I was assuming that they've been together for a long time. Mm-hmm. Like... She already knows that the answer, of course, is going to be yes. I feel she asked a question because she wasn't really sure. He was just like, I have deep feelings for you. Like, yeah, I care for you. She was, um, so he tells her, you know, you know, you know how I feel about you. Like, that's <laughs> not, obviously, I don't know how I feel about you, which is why I'm asking you. Like, you're not understanding. Uh, I was weak when he was just like, you know. Yes. <laughs> no, I don't. Which is why we're here right now. Yes. So we go back to um the girls' night, and Corey's just like, "You're forcing the answer at yeah. this point." I feel like she's kind of like see his perspective. Of yeah, it. Like, as the reason why he would be like, "Where is this coming from?" Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you guys are in the middle of about to have sex, and all of a sudden now you want to know if he loves you, right? And if he wants you, yeah. Girl, she's weird. So, <laughs> so at this point, there we're back at the couple, and she's hurt because she's trying to tell him there's a difference between I care about you and that I love you. Like there's a difference. So she's trying to tell him like that's not you know it's not what, what you want to hear. If someone tells you I love you, I don't want to hear that. So we cut back to the girls, and Corey just like so this is kind of like manipulation. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause she had her, her titties out, like yeah. She had, her, her, her thighs out, like, she was kind of manipulating him into saying what she wanted to hear. Exactly. But she kind of defended it, was like, she was like, no, I don't, but don't she was mind. like, no, no, you're not understanding. See, let, let <laughs> me, let me, no, no, because let me, let me backtrack. Like, let me bring it all the way back to the beginning, because you're not trying to hear what right, I'm you, saying. Because like, I see where you get it and you don't, so let me, let, let me, me bring it back. Let me bring it back real quick. It um, makes sense. I'm telling you, it's going to make sense when you hear the entire story. It's because you only heard a little bit, a little so bit. you don't really know. You don't really know. Let me, let me start over. <laughs> So, she had me weak when yeah, she said it. I was like, like okay, no, no. Because I see it, I get it, but no, no, no. So, um, so she explained that she's a bit lost in this world, like, within her career and her love life and, like, everything. So she doesn't see where she fits right now. Yeah, she's, like, at a standstill. Mm-hmm, yes. So we cut back to them, and then they're arguing about how she moves here for him. But right. he's like, nah, you moved here like, for your career. I don't remember us ever talking about that. <laughs> right. What's your mom? <laughs> what? For who? He's like, for, for me? Nah, 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 chill. Like, you moved here for your career because you were an actor, so you should be in New York. Yeah, he's like, I mean, remember, remember you said you... You said you were going to come in for your career, right? Like, she, she was like, acting like no. he didn't know what the hell she was like, talking I'm about. I'm here for you. So she's telling her girls there's no guarantees in her relationship, in her career, or anywhere in her life compared to him, which, you know, he has his own place. He has, he's good, established in his career. Like, okay. he knows what he's doing. So she, again, does not fit anywhere. So, and she's like, and to put the icing on a cake, I'm late. Mm. And they were like late for what? Yeah, um, <laughs> for the show, for reservations. You know damn well what you talking um, about. Late, late when <laughs> you're here. What do you mean you're late? Yeah. So she's like, so she, so we come back to them where she tells him that she's pregnant, and he was silent. He was silent. Yeah. He had nothing to say. She was pissed. Of course. So um, Marisol finally speaks up. <laughs> <laughs> So she's like, cause, cause, um, she was just like, you know, I'm not drinking, I'm not in love, I'm homeless, and my soul. She's like, no, you're not. He just needs to get his his stuff together. And see, mm. um, I felt bad for her. I did, cause I mean, but I felt the reason why she was asking him, "Do you love me?" is because she wanted that clear assurance. That, you know, something's finally going to happen in my life. Yeah. Because like, she thinks she's pregnant. 
there's nothing really happening with her career Mm -hmm. and she kind of just goes through the same routine every day so she wants to know that something is going to be solid something solid in in her her life life. right exactly (laughs) there's no guarantee right um now let's jump into episode 102 which is his side of the story let's get into where his head is at His friend is kind of complaining about... But can we just start by saying the styling on these guys was superb, okay? (laughs) I don't know if you know this. They look fresh to death, but let's just um, do it. Very Brooklyn. Yes. Brooklyn guy that goes to the bookstore. (laughs) You know what I but mean? But I like it. I like it. Little paper boy hat yes. and his little, mm, little like sweater. He reads books. Like, yes. I like it. Books. Okay. Books. <laughs> not, the like e- books. not the e-books. Not the hood books not that the they sell books. on Fulton Street or anything like that. But like, <laughs> he goes to see some books that have been yeah. around for years. Yeah, yeah. Vintage. Vintage books, yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Kissing. Strand. <laughs> <laughs> so his friend is um he's kind of complaining about how his girlfriend is like a little too adventurous mm-hmm. like yeah. she wants to go rock climbing she wants yeah. to go skydiving mm-hmm. he's just like you know black people don't do that nah so they're joking <laughs> around they're kicking it whatever they're drinking mm-hmm. um and his friend is kind of clowning him about how you know his girlfriend basically moved in and mm-hmm. she's changing everything about the house yeah because at first he said, you know, let's toast to the woman in your life. He's like, right. we got one. Right. So he's like, let's talk about that. Yeah, let's talk. <laughs> let's, let's let's really get into yeah, that. Yeah, let's get into quick. that. So, you know, he says they've been dating for a while and she wanted to move to pursue her career. And <laughs> he said that he, he basically welcomed, the, like, he invited her to stay with him yeah. because, you know, she needed... She needs to gotta get on her feet in exactly. a way. Exactly. Like and he told her, like, you can stay here until you find a place. She didn't tell the she didn't tell the homegirls that. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. So um, still in his mind, he thinks that she came here for her career. Like But apparent but to him, yeah, maybe that is a conversation that they had, like, oh, you can move here until you find your own place. Right, but they were still dating at the time, so I mean we'll get into that. All right. In his mind, it's just she's just here for her career. Yeah. But because they're dating and they're in a relationship, they kind of get into a routine, which he calls, like, housey. They kind of, mm-hmm. like, husband and wife, yeah. where, you know, they go out, they eat, they party, and they have sex, and, you know, mm-hmm. she cook him breakfast in the morning. Yeah, so, little IHOP pancakes with yeah. the food on the side. So he's loving it. Like, he mm-hmm. thinks that, you know, he's on cloud nine because he's living, he's loving this life that he's yes. living right now. Yes. So he explains that same night um, that she talked about. And he says, you know, they kissing, they enjoying each other. And then she starts asking questions. And his homie's like, you mean questions? Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah. He's like, but I'm half listening to her, you know, because I'm. she got the titties out. Yeah, she got the eyes yeah. out. You know, his friend is like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come on, come on, be. Like, I would do the same exact thing. He's like, oh, and then the friend was like, oh, you, she stopped you to ask you questions. Like, she, she didn't even have the courtesy to stop me. <laughs> but he mad. Yeah. So... His friend is basically, like, agreeing with him. Mm-hmm. And she asks him, like, um, do you like this? And he's like, I'm a man. What What don't I like? Yeah. Like, I like everything. Come on. <laughs> Come on. What type of question is that? Right? Okay. So then she then she gets a little bit more serious. Mm-hmm. And she's like. Deep. Yeah. She's like, do you think we're going, we're going to make it? And he's like, hmm. <laughs> make what? what? What are we talking about? <laughs> He's like, that's, that's, make. A, that's an unclear question because right. that can apply to just about anything. Exactly. What are we making? Cake? Is like, <laughs> what are we making here? What, what's happening? Yes. So that same line plays where she... she she's like, if I stay here, yeah. we can do this all the time. Like and He's confused again. Like, he's he's like, I thought you was getting your own place, though. So like, yeah. um, hmm. That threw me. I was just yes. like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I felt bad for her even more. I was like, yeah. damn, damn. Did she, she say that to the friends? She never, it's like it never happened yeah. in her mind. That's the crazy part. Like, when we see yes. his part versus her part, it's like some parts never happen. Yeah, it's not, hmm, it's not together. missing here. <laughs> yeah. So, he's confused because he thinks they agreed that she would eventually get her own place. And yeah. she's like, 
but that makes no sense since I'm already here. Yeah, like, he's still trying to tell her, what are you talking about? And that should have been her sign number one. She didn't have to ask a love question because, like, he don't want you to stay in here, girl. But she's, like, too busy. I think because, you know, they're a little drunk. They're a little drunk in love. Drunk in love. Sorry. She's, like, smiling and, what you mean? Like, yeah, I mean. Make any sense. <laughs> she's still asking questions. Mm-hmm. So then she, we get to the question where, right. uh, so do you think we'll get married? And he's like, you know, eventually. Mm-hmm. You know, hitting her with these non-promising responses. Like. Right. So at this point, he's like, I feel like, like, he feels like he needs to put an end to this, this mm-hmm. madness. So he, they, they kind of stop making out and he's just like, all right, what's, what's going on? Right. Right. <laughs> so then I think she says like, I love you. And then he's like, I care for you. Yeah. And you can and tell then, from his face, like, this is, it's way too soon to be using these words. Yeah. But even when, exactly. <laughs> even when, um, he told his friend, he was like, nah, bro. Is yeah, right there. See that? <laughs> Let me choke that right there. That's where you messed up. Now, nah, homie, that's yeah. not what we're going to do right now. Because when it came to that, do you love me? And he said, I care for you. His friend was like, damn, that's where you messed up. That's where you messed up. Like, yes. You're bugging. Exactly. Now the friend's stressed like, boy. <laughs> he was stressed. He was like, come on. He's like, girls about about don't want to hear Ooh. that. Yes. They don't. <laughs> He's like, but come on. He's trying to talk some sense into his Yeah, friend. yeah, yeah. Look, you got to see where the girl's coming from. Yeah, so he, this friend see, gives him the girl's perspective. Yeah. Um, and he's like, I, don't, I feel like I'm being pressured into right, saying it. And exactly. I don't want that. Like I'm being put in a choco. And his friend is basically saying, well, she lives here. He's trying to like rationalize as to why she would think it's okay to ask that question. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then he starts to put two and two together, like, mm-hmm. all right, nah, there gotta be a reason for these questions. Right. Like, where's she? Where are you going with this? Right. What's the end point here? So, um, because he was like, you know, they, she'd been living there for like three weeks. Yeah. You know. We finally learned what, what, how long it's been, yeah. right? But that's not how long they've been together. They've just been living, living for together three for weeks. three weeks. He's like, you know, you was all good. Now you're switching up. So yeah, what's up? Yeah, we were cool before. We were cool. What we, we were living life. We were loving it. So um, so then they go back to them. And he's still stick Like, they're, they're talking about why she really came to New York. Yeah. And he's still sticking with the whole thing about it. Right. Yeah, about her career. <laughs> and she's just like, no, like, it's you know, more... Than yeah. that. So he they're arguing a little bit and then she's he's like, You want twenty for what? Like, what's your problem? And that pissed her off even more. But that pissed me off. Okay. <laughs> because this is my problem with guys. They never see where you come from. Like they're like, Okay, why are you acting crazy? Why are you mad? Like you're not understanding. And then they do that, the squinting, of the, the squinting of the eye. But oh what's goodness. your problem? No. That's really good. Like, you that. know what I'm talking about. That's right. what they chill. Make let, us me chill. let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. <laughs> they make us look crazy. <laughs> yes. Because you know what she's saying. You know what she's asking you. Like, mm-hmm. cut it out. So, um, and then. And then she finally says she thinks she's pregnant. And, again, his response was, he just, he just acted. Yeah. And he told the friend, the friend was like, all right, what you say when she said that? I didn't say nothing. <laughs> this is what I did. I just looked at her. And he was like, you messed up again. Yes. And he Number said- two. <laughs> like, what you, come on, you messed up. And he's like, she hasn't spoken to me yet. And it's mm-hmm. been like three days. Yeah. Yeah. And he knows, he knows he's, he's wrong, but the friend just like, I'm here for you, bro. I yeah. Got you. He got you. He got, I got you. you. <laughs> I mean, we'll see what happens. Yeah. But, uh, damn. It's, it's a sticky situation. Yeah. I like that we get to see both perspectives yeah. of a relationship because <laughs> there's different stories. Cause there was a lot of parts in my mind from the him side that did not happen with the her. Yeah, but that means she not telling her friends, or you think? He, I don't think he's making it up. This is no, I think it sees. happened, but you know, she didn't she think not that gonna, it was as relevant. Exactly, but it is every piece. Was it thing that she, she said that he didn't say? In terms of like how she, I guess, how she explained like she's here for him mm-hmm. as well, but she kind of like. Oh yeah, that. he didn't tell her to a friend like, oh, she moved here. She thinks she she moved here for me or whatever. Cause he knows, mm-hmm. he knows, he knows. That was a big factor. Right. Come on, come on. Come on. Um. All right. So let's get into these questions, comments, concerns. Cause we about to get it's about to get real right now. <laughs> I 
love this show. Yeah. Um, beautiful show. Beautiful um, characters. Beautiful show. And it's real. I mean, it's oh, real. Yeah, it seems very realistic. Exactly. That's what I like about it. Because they're getting me and my own feelings. Mm. But whatever. So, um, I want to say for her, I feel like she already knew what the answer was going to be. Which is why she tried to, like, manipulate him or try to get him to, like, say yes. The way mm-hmm. he put him in that position. Because I feel like, um, because she had told, I think, Corey, she was like, I wasn't going to ask him before. Cause that would ruin the night. So you already knew right. that if he was, he was probably going to say no. Cause why would it ruin the night? You know, a part of me thinks that she felt the need to ask at that moment because he wasn't really paying attention to what she was saying. Mm-hmm. She was hoping for like an immediate yes, yes. just so they can have sex. And well, she's not a real to answer. Me, I think she felt like she could sleep better. Yeah. And she'll walk, Walk with much more he confidence. Mm-hmm, smile mm-hmm. better. Like yeah. this will this will make her so much happier. Mm-hmm. Hearing it, but not really thinking that he actually does love yeah, her. Yeah. It's only because you know he wanted to have sex with her exactly. at the moment that he would say yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and my concern for her is <laughs> how can you if you move there for him? How can you uproot your life on the strength of him, not knowing that your relationship is strong? Like right. you don't even know he loved you, but you're like, I moved here for him. Like, what about you? Don't think your relationship strong though? Yeah, my number one question is like, how long have they been dating? Yeah, that is number one because they've only been living together for three weeks, and if they were only like talking or dating for like a couple of months, she's mm-hmm. still bugging in my mind. <laughs> she, yeah, she's bugging. Yeah, yeah, because. There's some, it's something missing. Like, how does she feel so in love? And he's like, we chilling. We yeah, we fun. good. We're good. We <laughs> good. We good. Um, so, also, I think, like, the possibility of her being pregnant makes her double think, like, the strength of their relationship. Oh, um, yeah. Like, a lot of women think that when you bring a baby into a relationship. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> we on cloud nine now, y'all. <laughs> right, right, right. Which is not always the case. Nope. Like, whatever. So, she's, maybe she always thought, like, they might. That um, she's invested in a relationship more than him, so she's like a baby coming in. I yeah, need to that's know. why she started asking about marriage. Mm-hmm. Because the baby come, I'm gonna need to be a missus. <laughs> okay, cut it. Because he has a nice job. Yes, he's. Oh yeah, she's she trying to get apart. She's trying to lock that down. Lock it down. Yes. Clink clink. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Do you have any questions for her? For her. Um, when will you get your life, girl? Mm, 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 mm. She's trying. She's trying. She says she's going on auditions. Yeah. and uh, She doesn't know if she get them. She, she's it's, unsure. It's hard out life. there for yeah, an is. actor. Yeah. It is. It's hard out here. For anybody. For <laughs> <laughs> When you're trying to make that money for it. Yes. Um. <laughs> Cadillac gas money spent. All right, go ahead. <laughs> uh, my questions for him mm-hmm. is, why are you so dumb? <laughs> Why, why are you playing like Listen. why are you playing games yeah cause you know you I, you you a smart boy you, you, he looks smart he, he got a nice, nice job boy. she said <laughs> you know what's going on I feel like you he work like he got amnesia like I don't know I don't know like a startup company yes, type of situation I feel like that's what he's doing mm-hmm. and uh, he playing he playing around mm-hmm. and I ain't feeling it yes yes why is he afraid of like words like love and marriage it's like they're not they're not supposed to be in his relationship yeah. vocabulary like, yeah. yeah he's like nah 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 nah, nah. fun fun only use these words fun <laughs> um house um i hop i hop that's it and making love turn that's up. it that's it turn up but i really think he wants to like have his cake and eat it too because oh, it's like he doesn't want to i don't think he wants to cheat on her but he doesn't want he still wants to have that option of being free. Like, oh, yeah. You could tell. He's like, like, he claims her as his girl, but at the same time, it's like, we're not serious, so I can still do my thing yeah, if I, I think, wanted like, to. If he met a girl out, he would give her, like, he would try to get her number, number. To make sure he still got it. If he it. saw, like, an old friend, like, he would connect with her on Facebook or something. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Just like, to keep that door been? open. But still have his shorty at home. Yeah, but you don't want to give her what she wants because he thinks he doesn't know what she wants. But you he know, know it. damn well he knows you what know she wants. It. You know it. <sighs> um, Stupid. <laughs> I don't understand how he's saying you know 
she you moved down from your career like you really thought she moved in and not wasn't going to have you in mind or wasn't going to want more eventually yeah, even you said it's housey like you guys are living like you knew it was going to come you knew it was going to come so he was just going to be like would you really be cool with her just saying one day all right i found my own apartment mm-hmm. since you guys are so used to this routine and she just Got up and left, and you. I guarantee you, you gonna be looking feel for some that kind of way. Yeah, you gonna be looking for you that. I have breakfast. breakfast. Hello, you're looking for that laundry done. <laughs> Hello, you're expecting dinner at home. You are gonna be like, whoa, whoa, what happened? Right, why you left? Like we were having fun, we were chilling. What's the problem? No, she needs to do that though. Right, but um, because yeah. no, I feel like if she really was to do that, he would be. He'll be he would feel some kind of, of way. Of course, it's only because like mind. she's speaking about it mm-hmm. that now he's mm-hmm. like, well, she, she, he just, she's doing too much. Yeah. I think he's the type of guy that just lives in the moment and mm. he doesn't want to think about the future. Yeah. So he's just chilling, which is, you know, be, it's beat him in butt because now the girl is like, what's up? Yeah. I don't know. but I'm um, feeling for this girl. But I'm just glad that they both have friends that are just telling them the real, real. Yeah. Like, everybody needs that friend that's going to tell you, all right, girl. Or, Not come Marisol, on, my boo, my dude. She, she was bugging Marisol. Marisol, she was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. What's the no, problem? No, no, no. No, you don't understand. She's in love. <laughs> She's an enabler. She's an enabler. That's what she right. is. If it was just one-on-one with her and Marisol, yeah, oh like, my God. Yes. Why did you ask him, like, how many kids are we right, going to have? Let's buy a ring. Let's go buy a ring, and we're going to propose to him right now. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> That's what she seems like. <laughs> So, no, I'm glad Corey was there to bring it back down. Yes, because she was very serious, too, when she yeah. was talking to her. She was like, am I, cra- am I the crazy one? Yeah. Because I don't understand that. And then, um, her was like, no, like, I have to say it again, because <laughs> you're not really trying to me. Yes. Like, she, was, she was stressing at that table. Yeah, like, she was, she was, right, because this is not how I thought the conversation was going to go. No, I thought no. you guys were going to agree with me. Exactly. For sure. Yes. And Troy, he was real with him, too, like, you, you messed up. You messed up. You're He's wrong. Like, like a dad. Yeah. You messed Go up. Go to your boy. room. You messed up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> which is good, which is good. That's good. Um, so yeah, that was Beyond Complicated episode 101 and 102. Um, next week we will do the next two of part one, episode 103 and episode 104. So make sure you guys catch up on that. We will put the links in the description box. Um, make sure to <laughs> follow us, tweet us, <laughs> message us, all email of it, us all of it. at seriouslypodcast at gmail.com, seriouslypodcast for all social media. Yes. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit us please up. feel free to hit us up. Let us know. Let us know what you thought about the episode as well. And also like and comment on SoundCloud, guys, if you like it. Um, if you're listening, <laughs> if, you, if you want to, <laughs> you could please, um, um, I mean, if it's not too much trouble, um, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> okay. All right. So bye guys. Bye. See you guys.